You deserve it. I deserve it. Your friends who love to cook and bake in their kitchens deserve it. Throw out those old ratty dish towels and invest in some heavyweight personalized towels. Hi, this is Linda from Remade with Love, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own tea or dish towels. To begin with, you'll want a hard surface or a stiff piece of cardboard to work on. Next, some blank towels. I found a great deal on Amazon for 12 100% cotton 28 by 20 soft towels with a tight weave for about $2 each. It's important that it has a tight weave so that when you paint or stencil, your paint doesn't bleed through and you'll get great coverage. Make sure to wash, dry, and iron the towels you use before painting on them, as this will remove any sizing or finish that the manufacturer might have applied, which could lead to your paint peeling, flaking, or wearing off. Then decide what your design will be and where you're going to put it. Lay your towel flat on the hard surface and start arranging what you want to stencil or paint. I love to use reusable mesh stencils. They'll stick to your cloth, allow the paint to go just where the mesh opening is, and once cleaned and dried can be used over and over again. These are from Amy Howard. If you purchase anything from the links in my description, I may receive a small payment with no additional cost to you. I decided to arrange a few words, cook, eat, savor, and yum, as my design. Some crafters measure, but I pretty much eyeball my spacing and just go with it. I didn't want the period after the word yum, so I used a small piece of painter's tape to block that area. Make sure you burnish each stencil so that there will be no bleeding and tape any areas that you're worried will get some ink on it uh, by mistake if you stencil and the edges are too small. Now, grab your paint tools and let's get started. I'll use some chalk spreaders, one I cut super small, and I'll use some gel art ink, a thick water-based paint that you'll heat set once it's dry. It comes in lots of colors, but I'm using um, simply black and then white. Take a few seconds to knead the tube to be sure that the pigments are blended with the water before opening. And you're then gonna decide which spreader will work best for the size of your stencils. Squeeze a bit onto the end of your spreader, like you would a small amount on um, a toothbrush or toothbrush using toothpaste. And now this is gonna be the super easy part. It's kind of like coloring, but so much easier. Just spread the paint on your stencils on your surface at about a 45 degree angle, pressing it down and through the mesh stencil. It's so cathartic. As long as you stay inside the stencil and tape, you can't go wrong. A little goes a long way. So I usually start with a thin layer and work all areas, make sure that they're covered. And then I'll repeat using extra paint until it becomes opaque, but not gloppy. If you've never done this before, you might consider trying it on an old tea towel, you know, the one that you're going to pitch after you complete these, because too much paint and you'll lose your details and it just may, might flake off when dried. 
So make sure if you're using the mesh stencil, you can actually hear it make noise. And that's how you know you're putting it on correctly and getting the right coverage. There we go. So I'm gonna to check to make sure there isn't any white peeking through. And uh, here's another tip, clean as you go. Notice how I'm taking the time to wipe off my spreader. Well, before I move this, the tape and even the stencils themselves, well, if you look closely at my spreader, you'll see why. If you don't remove the paint as you go, soon it'll become permanent. The same with your stencils. So have water and wipes handy. Put those stencils immediately into a water bath. You can go back later and clean it off using a soft sea sponge or your fingers to make sure there isn't any paint that's going to dry in the stencil itself. You wanna be able to reuse them, but right now just pop them in that water bath. Here we go, make sure my hands are dry. Don't wanna get any paint on the towel. And that's all there is to, to getting a good design on your towel. I'm gonna to let this dry for about four hours before setting it with um, a hot iron or a press. But in the meantime, these are too cute to pass up. Ta-da! After about four or more hours, your towels are now ready to be heat set. Place it back on a hard surface, cover with parchment paper or an old thin towel, and press without moving it for 15 to 30 seconds at 350 degrees. And that's it. You're ready to gift or use your updated and personalized kitchen towels.
Wow, that makes a difference. Thanks for watching Remade with Love. Follow me on Facebook and YouTube.